Hey what's going on guys, in my last video I have created a multi-dimensional array. Here I am going to show you how to display these arrays on a table, okay. Now to do this one I am going to create a new method. Let's go ahead and do that. So first I close, no, we don't need to close, let's go and create the new new public, a new method. That's public static void, static void. And then I'm going to name this one as display since it's going to display all of our elements in an array. Now, since we are doing the multi dimensional array, I put int this uh, array. I'm putting the array as an argument here and I put double square bracket since it's multi dimensional. Now, inside of this one, we are going to create a nested for loop, for loop inside a for loop. First for loop, we are going to create for rows. So int row is equal to zero and then row is gonna run the length of the x. So row is less than x dot length. L N G T H okay, x less than x dot length and then row plus plus. Now we have gone through the rows. Now the next thing next thing is we are gonna go through the columns. So again for loop for loop inside a for loop that is for column integer column and I initialize this one with zero and then it's gonna run the length of the array that is x dot length column column is less than x in the square bracket row row and then dot dot length l n g t h okay now we are done with the limitation and then we are going to do the increment by one column plus plus now we have gone through the rows and the column finally we want to print this one out so i put a system dot out statement system system dot out dot print ln print ln and then okay now we are done with the printing part okay now this should be just three curly bracket right here and then here we are going to put a title for each uh, each table we have first array and second array so let's go ahead and create the title system dot out system dot out dot print ln print ln and then uh, here I'm gonna put um, this is the second array uh, this is the first array this is the first array first array and the first array this, this is gonna be the title and then below that we want to print out the first array so I pass the first array right here display displays our function the method we created and here we are going to pass the first array so first array will be printed below the below this title first array continuously is exactly the name of the array we created okay now we are going to do the same thing for the second array so i copy paste this one copy paste it right here and change all the first array into second array second array and here second array second array okay now i'm seeing a bunch of errors one of them is i had to close the curly bracket right here and the other thing is system dot out okay here print i didn't put t okay now that's it and still showing some errors let's see system dot out print ln print ln system uh, let's look at the spelling usually i make spelling mistake and uh, closing curly brackets <coughs> okay system dot out that's spelling right print ln right and then we have and this is the first array 
okay and then everything looks perfect probably the curly bracket thing let's see we have mm, we shouldn't close the curly bracket here okay now that error is gone display for story let's see here look at our function public static white display integer double colon and then uh, we created a for loop integer row is equal to zero and row is less than x dot length and then row plus plus okay that's one is okay and then um, for int column that one also perfect now let's look at this one okay close the curly bracket here system dot out print ln mm. let's look at this line it shows some error in this line maybe spelling mistake i don't know let's see public spelling right static right void right display integer x is perfect for integer row x row is equal to zero row is less than x dot length and then we did the increment by one Mm -hmm. and uh, for uh, again we started the curly bracket right here for and then we had to start hmm I didn't do one more thing that is another system out statement after this column I had to create another system dot out statement system dot out dot print ln we had to print out the row and column so system dot out print and here x row and here column column and uh, we are going to leave a space in between so I put a plus backslash t tap forwards actually backslash t tap and then semicolon okay now we have done for this print x row column and then plus backslash t this one should be round bracket okay mm. okay plus mm -hmm system dot out dot print x row column plus backslash t and then semicolon okay that's done and here we started this one and here we don't need a this thing we don't need the semicolon for for loop <coughs> that's another mistake and then what else we have we started right here close it right here and uh, we close it three more times and here we have started okay I have to double check everything okay public first everything looks perfect here display secondary um, public static void display integer okay i didn't name the oh this should be x okay now here we have something some error showing up plus system dot out dot print x row column plus backslash t mm -hmm. this one should start with round bracket okay now everything is perfect no errors now let's go ahead and run this one now you can see this is the first array we have the first array and 8 9 10 11 8 9 10 11 this is our first row and then second row 12 13 14 15 12 13 14 15 
and this is the second array this is second array 30 31 32 2 33 30 31 32 33 and then 43 alone 43 here and then 4 5 6 4 5 6 and that's how you can display your multi-dimensional array on a screen i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video